In this MapSuite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how to control different uh, types of panning on the map, all via some client-side APIs. So here we've got our sample application, and we've got a few uh, buttons here on the left, ones that allow you to pan left and pan right, down and up and accordingly. And you can see how this is all panning very smoothly. This is all because it's happening client-side, and there's no server postbacks happen. Additionally, um, we're going to show you in this sample how you can enable or disable painting by a mouse. In this case, we just got a checkbox. So if I have that disabled, I can't, you know, pan the map. But if, if I enable it, I can drag it around accordingly. So uh, we're going to show you a little bit how to do that as well as with the, uh, the zoom wheel um, to disable that. So uh, um, you can't click and, or use the zoom wheel to zoom in and out. And then finally, we're going to show you how you can uh, pan using the keyboard as well. Um, to go back and forth that way. So let's take a look at the uh, source code so you can see how you can implement this all stuff via the client side API. So let's dig in the source here and let's start down here where the map is loaded and added to the page. So that's what we're doing right here. Um, we're setting up the world map kit as our background. And here we're just uh, enabling a few mouse tools um, for the mouse map and then disabling the, uh, the keyboard mouse tool because that's what our defaults are on the checkboxes there. So most of the code for this sample is in JavaScript and you can see here where we have all our different buttons and checkboxes defined. We're calling different JavaScript routines. So for example, to enable pan we're calling the pan zoom one, to disable zoom we're calling zoom action, um, to enable keyboard we're calling this keyboard routine, and then uh, for our buttons to pan left, up, right, and down, we're calling this pan offset. And all of these are JavaScript functions up here. So let's take a look at them. So pan offset, this is what's happening when we were doing the pan left or pan right or up or down buttons, actually. You can see when we call that, we're just getting the, um, the center of the map using the maps get center message, or method. And um, then we're getting our offset of X and Y. So we have an offset find of how far we want to pan, either left or right or up or down, and setting that to the new values of X and Y. So in this case, uh, um, when we called this, we said we wanted to do a pan offset of negative 10, 0, and 10, 0, etc. So that's telling it to go left, this is telling it to go right, um, and then on this one you're seeing up and down. So you can see how by setting those offsets, you can do all of your panning with just one little simple JavaScript routine. And that's all done client side through this pan to world coordinate, passing in those new X and Y values. All right, the next ones are showing how you can enable and disable certain uh, map tools uh, on the client side. So, for example, this is the one where we where we are either enabling or disabling the ability to pan with the mouse. So, uh, um, there's some good APIs you need to be aware of to do this type of uh, functionality first one is, is you can use uh, get map tools method off of the map to get the different ver the various tools. In this case we're getting the mouse map tool. Uh, here we're just checking to see if we actually had one on the map already. So if it, if it isn't we're going to go ahead and uh, um, create a new one using the open layers control navigation and then add that to the map. And once we have that on the map we're going to check our uh, um, or get a reference to our checkbox of enable pan or disable zoom. And if we're enabling it, you know, we need to set those accordingly to, to represent that. And then we just either activate that map tool that we got a reference to up there and created, or we deactivate it. And so uh, um, pretty much all of that's the same for the different types of uh, um, controls that the map has for navigating. So same sort of concept for the keyboard control and also for, um, you know, disabling their, the... Um, the zoom wheel. And the zoom wheel's on the mouse map tool as well, so that's why we have this broken out. You can, it's just a different property on that. So, uh, uh, or method I should say, to enable it or disable it. So with that you can see you can have lots of control over how your users can interact with the map and you can decide what sort of panning techniques you want to allow them to do and uh, you know what controls you want to put around that. I hope this uh, sample app walkthrough has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, or you can post your questions directly on the discussion forums at thinkju.com/forums. Thank you for watching.